Prada Pandit. So today also we are going to talk about one more ab initio interview related question. So it is an you can call it as an ab initio related question or it is an a SQL related question. So there could be a both ways they can be you know fired. The question you can you can uh, encounter this question right. So let's say so I have a department right. And uh, let's say I have a department number, I have an employee name, salary, and you know, I have an employee table basically. So what I want to achieve is I want to rank it for a, within a department, let's say. Rank the people within a department based on salary. This uh, rank and this dense rank you must have heard of it, right? So rank is going to be the it's an Oracle or a SQL function, right? So that can uh, work on partition data, a particular, you know, particular group it can work on and based on some, you know, some metric, let's say salary is the metric over here and department is the partition, right? It's a group, let's say. So what I can give a query, you know, for a for a let's say for department number 30 that I can give in the where clause, I can rank all those people based on salary. So if I do department name, e name, salary, rank, rank over what? Rank over partition by department ID, order by salary. Salary is an ordered and department is the partition. This 30. So if, if I don't give this condition, there will be another party, you know, another group. And then again, there will say 20, another people name and then salary of that people. And then the rank, let's say first, if it is in lowest, like that, you know. So, so this is, this, the same thing can be achieved using the ab issue, right? We know that we can do the group based process we know that we can assign some rank or assign some sequence ID. And if you look at the rank, right? So, so these for the record number two and three, the salary is same. So the rank is assigned as same. So this is the beauty of this rank function. It's an inbuilt fun functionality for a rank function in the SQL. Okay. This beauty we need to achieve. Otherwise sequence number, I can we can generate we have seen in earlier interview based questions that sequence ID can be generated, but the same assignment of the same sequence for the successive same salary record is our task which we want to achieve in this question or this solution, right? We will see the coding over in five minutes. Okay, let's understand the problem now. So and the fourth record is directly it went to the fourth because it's in a rank inbuilt rank is three technically it is the fourth record so therefore this rank is started as fourth it skipped the third rank basically so this is another attribute of the rank function all right it does skip the sequence does skip the sequence because it it got the three record right, so it is basically it's a fourth record, it's a fifth record, and so on. So this is how it works in Oracle or in SQL. But that beauty we want to achieve in ab initio. So let's see how we do it. So the overall design is going to be you know input sort key is going to be the department number salary ascending. So this is the sort key and then scan and the output. This is the very very simple design. Now, the, let's say our input DML is this department name, employee name, salary rank. Okay, simple one. I'm reading using this DML. Then I have an, you know, I have to, you know, to to basically, you know, to basically assign the sequence. I need to know the previous amount and the current amount. If it is changed or not in that respect. I need to store this previous amount in some variable. Then the ranking, ranking in the sense of the successive ranking. What I need to do in the you know output basically, right? Ranking. 
and then ranking tracking so tracking in the sense of put the technical rank is like one two three four five six that so for to uh, to save those numbers right that i have taken three three temporary type variables and i have assigned these variables the ranking first for the group right for the first group whenever it calls first time it is called for a particular group right so i am assigning first previous amount is in dot salary and tra ranking tracking is zero let's say so within the scan function right so out dot ranking i need to populate three three you know three this one temporary type variable so out dot ranking is going to be if my in dot salary is greater than temp dot previous amount then temp dot ranking ranking tracking plus one so if it is a salary is you know the greater than previous amount then what is the ranking is temp ranking plus one right <clears throat> for the first group first record this is zero right so this is going to be temp dot previous amount is what n dot salary right n dot salary is same right so this is not first so what i can give is temp dot ranking so what is the temp dot ranking temp dot ranking is one so this ranking is going to be one right and the rank is going to be the temp dot ranking or one right so i'm going to assign the previous amount as in debt salary again same ranking tracking is always it is going to be one plus one temp dot ranking tracking plus one so our, now it becomes the zero plus one one so temp dot ranking become one now for the second record let's say this one 1250 so this this is, is satisfying so temp dot ranking tracking plus one so this ranking becomes one plus one two right salary is again bar 1250 and then out dot ranking tracking is equal to temp dot ranking two plus one three right ranking tracking becomes three so likewise i can save those values right in those two variables and still i can you know produce the output while using the temp dent ranking so my ranking always always in line with the rank function basically so if it is a first record if it is a successive record I am giving the this one only temp dot ranking the previous ranking for the third record this is not satisfied right so I'm going going to give the the rank which is already saved in the ranking same rank you know two right but this ranking tracking is always saves the successive number so whenever the salary is changing I'm my ranking is based uh, depending upon temp dot ranking if it is doesn't change my ranking is depending upon the temp dot ranking simple so whenever the salary is changing when the salary is changing the this rank is depending upon the this parameter right because it's in successive right and if it doesn't change then my ranking is depending upon the ranking ranking so and it doesn't change for the same for the same amount same ranking is assigned right previous ranking it assigned so in that way i can achieve this so my output dml would be looking like this so this is how we can achieve this kind of you know functionality so looks like a complex but it isn't very simple so if this question comes across then you can answer it as an using an avenue issue as well as an you know sql operations right so with that thank you so much please subscribe my channel and we are going to see multiple this kind of scenarios also multiple different uh, enhancement being done in abinitio part other uh, abinitio recent concepts okay thank you so much please subscribe my channel and share it with others